Today is Wednesday, January 14th, I believe. Close enough. Anyway, it's normally I do shoulders on Thursday, but I just got back from a trip yesterday, so instead of training legs today, I feel like training shoulders, so I'm just deciding to do shoulders. So I'll just do legs on Thursday instead of Wednesday. So with that being said, it's a season of 2015 and three pro shows, and like, we got some, Sometimes you got people in the gym that's just kind of special and you're just going to have to, you know, adapt your training sessions to those type of special people. And this is Blueprint 42, I believe, so if somebody special wants to check out the video, they can check it out themselves. Let's do this. First up is the show press. Now, a lot of people probably see me doing show press all the time in Smith because I start with a heavy pressing movement. And this is like, instead of doing free weights and stuff, I can go heavier without spot. So that's my third behind that. And I just like the feel versus just doing a military press. Again, you just figure out what works for you. Now, it's cold outside. It's like freezing. It's like 32 degrees um, outside Fahrenheit. And so I'm wearing a jacket. Like I want to keep warm because a warmer muscle contracts harder than a cold muscle, regardless how you, how you look and stuff like that. So I'm going to pick up the pace with my training because I'm trying to cut off, start setting off some fat going into these pro shows so I can look totally shredded. So I'm going to warm up about 12 reps, do about two, three warm up sets, and then start with my first working set. Really squeeze it. Oh, we're gonna set one done. We're gonna do a few more, and then I'm gonna show you guys the first working set and the last working set, so you can see the difference between the beginning weight and the final weight. I did three warm-up sets, and this is gonna be my first working set. I did two warm-up sets with 40, just a 45 on each side. Got a 45-25. Now I'm going to put two, oh I got two 45s on there. So I'm going to do my first set there and I'm going to go extremely heavy. So what's heavy, I don't really know. It just depends on how I feel. I may go up to do add another 25 eventually or add a, uh, a third 45 on each side. So it really just depends. I'm going to aim for about 10 reps. I'm going to save energy and just push it, push hard for about four sets. So depending on how this goes and how it feels, because every workout varies, I may just add a 10, I may go straight to 25, and I'm gonna baby step it up. So, I'm gonna do this. I got a narrow grip. Some people do this crap. I don't believe in a wire grip. This isn't a strong point. Your most natural is like, like if you're gonna punch somebody. So if you're gonna pretend like you're gonna punch somebody, then put your arm up, and there you go. That gives you a guesstimate of where your grip is. And as time goes on, you'll kind of figure out what's your best grip and what you prefer. So just listen to others and figure out what works for you because they are cheap. Just add a 10 and see how that goes. I may just keep adding 10s and decide to do a fifth set. That's how it rolls. Now, this is my fourth set and the weight got heavy. So, I kept increasing. So I got three 45s on each side. I'm gonna aim for about six to eight reps. That's the goal. Now, if I succeed or not, it just depends. I'm just suggesting myself, this is heavy. I'm pushing it. I already got three good sets in, so this is pushing myself beyond. It's all about pressing heavy weight. Do I need a full extension? No. It's about just compressing as much weight to a certain point of many reps. Oh. Holy crap! That's heavy! Holy crap! Alright, I thought I could get six. That's the three somewhat. And I'm gonna I'm gonna drop it down for I'm gonna show the fifth set. But I consider that a full set. 
and I'm gonna just gonna strip the 45 and put the 25. So I'm gonna do one extra set to make up for this like sloppy set. And I'm just gonna do it about 10, 12 times. So that's how I justify things and that's it. So if you can't get a full thing, but do I regret this set? No, because I'm I push myself to the max what I can push today, and that's the key. So with every shoulder workout I do, I just focus on one pressing motion, or maybe two, but then I do a lateral movement, a front movement, and a rear movement, as well as traps. So it hits the shoulders proportionally. Sometimes I do machines, free weights, cables, you name it. But it just really depends on how I'm feeling. But I always hit them all from all angles in that kind of method. That's how I build my shoulders, and that's not my system. So now I finished one pressing. Now this is a ladder movement. This is my fourth set, and I'm bumping up to 70s. I did two sets with uh, 60, one set with 65, another with 70. Because I still increase, but dude, I can handle the weight pretty good. And a little tip for people in gyms, the weights I use are hexagon. Like, there's a little slot right here. A lot of the gyms have the round weights. Now, believe it or not, I travel around the world, and I absolutely hate doing lateral raises with the round weights, because when I grab it, see, it'll be round. This has a slack, like, see how they slip right here? So it got to inside, so when I grab it, and I lift it, it actually will, it will smooth, it fits right here. Now if it's round, it digs in my wrist, and it hurts. So when I hold it right here, it actually digs in my wrist. And I, unless you're perfectly like this, you, you can be fluent, but if not, the round weights will cut in your damn hand, and it's not a pleasant, a pleasant feel. So if you get a chance, do ladder raises, front raises with these type of weights versus the round weights that they have at your gym. If you don't have them, whenever you get a chance, try it. It's a huge difference, and you can see huge improvements. Because those round weights even feel different than the hexagon. And the hexagon weights actually gets a better, smoother feel than the round ones. In my opinion, other people may say, no, they don't believe in that, but it works for me. All right, I don't know, maybe 10, 12 reps. Some people may stop at 10 because they're like their form is getting sloppy. No. At times, you can get to 10, and if you stop at 10, that's good for you. And all of a sudden, you're like, well, I did it correct or great form. But just say, I pushed on more. Even that last one was kind of like crap, but I did it anyway. You know why? Because I gave that much extra. I could have stopped at 10 and be like, oh, it's fine. But then it's like, oh, he did a couple more. They weren't the greatest form. So you criticize the last two. Would have been better if I would have just stopped at 10? Would that make you guys feel better? Or should I push my body beyond? Again, when people look at you, they're going to criticize you, judge you, and give you two cents. Unless you look at it from all different angles and a different perspective, then you see the bigger picture of things. So I did the sides, now I'm going to do front. So I'm going to do dumbbell alternating front raises. So when I'm up, come down, go up. Some people will go like this, and as they're coming down, they'll lift up. But I wait till it goes completely down so I can like swing the weight. I use the momentum. But I, I use the transition and then thrust it up. Like if you take a knife, you stab it upwards. If you're just taking a knife and you go like this, you go upwards like this. You're only so strong. You just take, like, take your hand and go like this. But if you kind of lean backwards and then go upwards, 
you're going to use a lot more force and you got more power. Try it. Just go right here and go like, use both arms, go like this. Try to go as heavy as you can. Just go like this and you can see the power. You got power, but then try it one arm. Kind of go backwards and then thrust up. Then when you come down, go backwards, thrust up, thrust up, thrust up. You've got way more power than doing this together. A lot of people think it's cheating, but just try that little manner. And that's the difference in pushing weight, because it's about force. Boom, swoom, versus, oh look, I'm doing a textbook technique, because some people feel good. Oh look, I'm not going to get judged if I do it just like people tell me to do it but I won't get as good results because, you know, like I can't use as much weight, but at least I'm doing it right, and it makes me feel good. That's how people are. Me, I'm here to dominate. I'm here to get results. I'm gonna own this, and I'm gonna be the best in the world. And I am. In the story. 65. So, 
you know. My concept is I'd rather do more stuff for my back. My back is a way bigger muscle than shoulders. So I'd rather take the time and you know hit more of my back and don't even focus in the upper part of my traps. Because when you look at somebody, you see the traps on the front and that incorporates some of the front shoulder. So why work back, why work traps and back day when you can see them in front? So that's my whole concept. But everybody's each his own. That being said, I'm going to do a dumbbell strokes. The biggest dumbbells in the gym is 120s here. I could do it in Smith, but some days I'll just do dumbbells like I'm feeling now. I'll just do more reps. The back is going to tender. But, so I'll just I just grab it with my fingers, that's why I use straps if you see. I use wrist wraps because uh, I don't want to focus on my grip strength. I just, if you saw, I just had them into my fingers when I was doing it. Because I want to focus on my traps, not my hand grip. I'm going to do four more sets and that's going to finish my trap workout. I guess I'm just going to stick with the same weight, so there's no point in just seeing it from a different perspective. Or check out some of my other shoulder workouts because I always do traps in some form. So when you guys are focusing on your own workouts, it's okay to learn and educate yourself and look for tips and techniques to better yourself. But never compare yourself to others because when you when you compare yourself to others, you're actually judging yourself. Because either it's going to make you feel better about yourself or it's going to make you feel crappier about yourself. But don't even let that bother you because it's about you being the best that you can be. And everybody's different because we're all God's children and we're all designed differently. Just because you're a little bit different and you're a little bit unique, that's each his own. To so be the best you can be, and that's the best thing. Don't worry about others, just worry about you and live your life the best to your ability and educate yourself in a story. Wheelchair Athletics Foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that provides and supports disabled athletes. Please support our cause. Volunteer, donate funds, mail items for the eBay store.